Hi, it's Rob the Frugalist and today we are cleaning the ash out of the log burner and I'm going to give you six tips and ideas of what you can do with your remaining ash. Plus, a slightly morbid one which you won't be wanting to do. Firstly, regular ash cleaning is important for anyone with a wood burning stove because as the ash builds up you've got a lot less space in which to work and that's a lot less oxygen getting to the logs as well. And so what we'll be doing is we'll be using this tool to start off with. All set. The pH of the wood ash is going to be important here for uses outside. Now the internet says the pH is between 10 and 12. We're going to find out what the pH of our wood ash is. So I've taken some of the ash, mixed it with some water, and I've got some universal indicator paper here, as in one of my other videos, and uh, we're going to find out straight away. Dip it in. Okay, if you have a little look, we are somewhere between 10 and 12, so that seems to hang up. Maybe some elements around 9, I don't know, but it's definitely alkaline. So what we've got is a pretty alkaline product here, and it's good for what we're going to be trying it outside for. Okay, tip number one is to use it sparingly on the compost heap. So I will do literally that. Now, why is it sparingly? It's sparingly because these can kind of disrupt the microbial action which you need to keep it composted. So don't put too much in. Tip two is simply to put it straight onto your soil. This is great if you need to raise the pH of your soil, if your soil is too acid, uh, especially if you're growing things like lavender, uh, lilac, or even um, hydrangeas, they can change the colours, you know. Uh, but also if you're growing things which are edible, parsley, cauliflower, kale, celery, marjoram, rosemary, they'll all benefit from a bit of this. But I'm going to use it on my tomatoes because uh, this is actually very similar to potash. In fact, that derives from a similar word in Dutch which basically means wood ash. This is still tip two. I'm going to be using the potassium as a great source of fertilizer for this potential tomato. So I'm going to put it in, not touching the stem, it's going to go around the sides because it could still be too uh, harsh on the plant. I'm just going to let uh, the rain just merge that all in. Okay, this is tips three and four. So this is my dog poo bin. It's obviously quite unpleasant and I'm going to be using a riddle. And guess what? I don't need all this ash. So I'm going to be using this just to mix in with horrible smells and actually stop it from going really nasty. So now you might be wondering what I'm doing with the riddle here. You have to forgive the ash. Okay, and what we've got here is perfectly sanitised stuff and I can filter through here and I've got a whole load of charcoal here which is not been burning properly. So that can go back on the fire and get burned again. So this is going to be really good for my next fire. So that's tips three and four. This is how much uh, charcoal I managed to get out of half a bucket of ash. So we can use that for a variety of purposes, but mainly starting the next fire. Okay, and here we go. We've managed to put a whole load back in, ready for the next fire. Tip number five, 
ash is excellent for removing oil spills. So if you've got any oil spills or anything like that, it will just soak it up and you just sweep it away uh, once it's done the soaking up. And tip six is uh, also quite simple. You can actually use it in an emergency to put out a fire. So you can have it on standby, working the same way as perhaps sand would. It will completely obliterate the oxygen source to the fire. So that's something you can do in an emergency. So there are the six tips. And just for information, tip number seven, the one you won't be using for, unless perhaps you're some kind of Mexican drug cartel person, is if you add water to this, it makes lye. And lye is used infamously for getting rid of bodies. So that's one you won't want to be doing. Oh, on top of that, I did actually forget one. Uh, so, and that is, of course, I've done a video on it already, is using ash to actually clean your glass. And of course, why not? So there you have it. You've got the six plus one, plus a bonus one, tips on what to do with your remaining ash from your log burner. So please do like and subscribe uh, for more of these kinds of videos so I can keep doing them. Thank you very much, and don't forget to check out the other videos available. Bye-bye.